Hello, wood turners and makers, and a warm welcome back. Right then, apologies for the lack of not being about for the last two to three weeks. Uh, a bit of a power issue in the shop. Uh, I've come down uh, two weeks ago, I did come down to do this video I'm doing now, and then I've got no power. Uh, tried the fuses, and fuses was okay all on, but the entire shop was dead. So, messing about, got an electrician in at the end, tested everything for me, and we found out it was the fuse board had gone. So, anyway, we got a new fuse board in now, uh, shop's up and running again. Right, so, I want to do a little project using this piece of wood I've got, put it on a face plate. So, and it gives me a chance now to test out whether this will hold up for what I want it to do. So, without further ado, let's get this wood on the lathe and let's do some turning. See it in a minute. Okay then, right, our uh, piece is on there now, so we're going to get this all trued up and uh, perhaps make a little bowl or something, eh? That's what we're going to go for. Okay, that's basically it for that now. So what I'm going to do is give that a bit of a sandal. 
and then we'll be ready to flip it round and all of the inside out so I'll speak to you again in a minute Okay then, right then, I've sanded it down from 120 down to 240, so all I'm going to do now is just finish that little bit at the bottom, because all of that, I can get to it when I flip it round anyway, so I'll put a bit of, bit of sanding sealer on. There, a bit more. Okay, give that a minute to dry now. For the new prescribers that have come out to my channel, that is the sanding sealer that I use. I'll do it on the bath cameras because I'm not sure which one will be the one that I edit. Now right, we'll denib that off. Put on a bit of Yorkshire grit. And you need a bit. Right, I'll put a bit of uh, wood wax 22 on that now and then I'll come back to you when it's time to flip this round and all of the inside out. See you in a minute. Okay, welcome back. Right, I've got it off the uh, face place now and we are ready to get this olive out. So let's get it on the chuck. that done. So now let's get this all cleaned up on the front there now.
Right, what I must remember to do is keep my eye on the depth of this because we don't want to get going through the bottom, do we? Bounce to go, so we'll keep checking that as we're going along. So let's put you some light in there. A little bit better, you might be able to see it better now, hopefully. Still do a fair bit with that. Hold on, just put that up the right. Not getting the true depth. Yes. That's beautiful now. So I think now, because we've got it that much down, we're going to switch over now to this one now and see what it's like. Okay, make sure that they'll be coming down a bit. I mean, that'll be. So, let's see whether it'll do the job. Because I've got a reason to enough support, it seems to be knocking it down. So let's change this over to this. See if that helps me out. Move that out of the way. a bit more in that's it make sure that's locked down let's try again Don't go in with it 90 degrees. Just turn it to about what? About 10 o'clock, something like that. And then it seems to be a lot better. Getting pretty thin on that now, a bit more off there. 
always remember to check your work all the wall because I've gone through the bottom loads of times so you know if you do it don't be worried about doing it uh, and like I says if if you like you know I'm not that experienced in wood turning but I'm still I'm learning myself uh, but if you want to have something nice and easy just to get to get you used to getting these vessels all hollowed out like this and by all means good for these you know uh, obviously I made this myself not not that the actual and it's, it's holding out quite well you know vibration it holds quite strong so it's doing exactly what I want it to do so if you guys out there are thinking of making one then do it it seems to be okay so quite solid and still seems nothing's happening with it so I'm quite quite chuffed with it so I'll carry on all of this out and then I'll come back to you Okay then, right, that's all rubbed down now, 120 down to 240, right, we'll get some sand in here that on it now, get that out of the way, right, and that is the piece finished, that's it, that's the piece finished, so now, we'll put some and in shader on it now and we'll see it all hopefully come to life. Quite dry this wood. Shader on, let's put that on, see if that makes any better. It doesn't take long with this sanding shade, to be fair. And we'll denib that off. Yeah. 
Right, I will pour the Yorkshire grease on and then wood wax 22. I am going to put you through that because the video will end up being miles long then. So once I've done that and I've got it off, we'll meet it over the signboard and then we'll have a talk about it. Till then, see it at the signboard. Okay then, I am finished here. That is my little bowl. The bottom. Inside. Using a wood wax 22 as my finish. I'll leave some stills up and put it on the turntable. Well, I put it through its paces. Yes, it did exactly what I was hoping it did. do. It hold it in, it's pretty strong. So you can just take it out, put a drill bit in, use it for drilling as well, and also for these. If you're thinking of getting one of them as well, absolutely brilliant. They are really good. Especially getting in, it makes it nice and simple. But like I said, when I first tried it, I went in like that, at that point at 90 degrees and sort of got to turn it a bit to roughly 10 o'clock, 9 o'clock and then be nice and easy with it and, it, and it's perfectly fine then. So if you've got one of these chucks, have you got to make them on yourself? Well I've tested it and I can gladly say it did the job and it did alright. Bit of sanding in just to get a bit of tear out. So I went through with a negative negative right scraper, but that's it. So that is all folks. So if you enjoyed this please like, share. You know what you gotta do. Press up the squidgy button. Till the next time. Bye now. Glad to get my power back on though.